There goes Fred. So here's another instance where we have to do things separately. Um, so Fred's on the train. He'll be back at 445. I think that's two hours and 15 minutes. So I'm going to let the dogs out. And then I think I'm just going to uh, tour Hill City for two hours and uh, see what I can find. So I did find this little gallery that was open. I have some beautiful things in here. Thank you. I'm waiting for my husband. He's doing the train ride. Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so there's a lot of little artsy shops downtown Hill City. I'll have no problem keeping myself busy for two hours. So I'm still waiting for Fred. He should be back in about 20 minutes. And there's a tornado warning here and hail is coming down. I was at one of my last shops and I had to run back to the car in this hailstorm. It's just a pea-sized hail, but still, I don't know I've ever seen so much hail. Look at that. It's all over the front of the car. It was a nice ride. Went through some beautiful country, saw some beautiful homes, log homes, and uh, I couldn't get many pictures from where I was seated. I was seated in a caboose, and then coming back, I was up front behind the engine because they just put the train engine and connected to the caboose to go back. So, would you recommend that trip? I think you will like it. Especially with your camera work. So you think I should do it? Yep, I think you should. Well, I had a good time in Hill City. What'd you do? Well, I'll show you. I got you a little present. What? Very nice. Now, where can we put this? I don't know. How about inside the rover somewhere? That'd be a good place for it. Yeah. That's cute, isn't it? Yes, it is. You like it? I do like it. Thank you. You're welcome. You can mount that somewhere inside the rover. You're welcome. I got you something else. What? That's for me, the necklace. Chocolate walnut fudge. We can have it for later or now. Just have a bite right now. Okay. <laughs> it's delicious. Mm -hmm. We are on Needles Highway. The day is clear and sunny, which is a stark contrast from yesterday. It is beautiful. This is the Needles Highway. We are headed to Mount Rushmore today and hopefully also get to take in the Crazy Horse Memorial. model of what it will look like when it's finished. 
This is one thirty-fourth the size. So this is a sculptor, Korzak. This is him at 23 years old. Is he the one that started this project? I believe so. Mm -hmm. This is a picture of him as an older man with the same portrait in his picture. So this is like his studio, I guess. And he was a sculptor, so there's a lot of a lot of artwork around here. It's a beautiful room. So yes, look at this portrait with the picture of Crazy Horse mm -hmm. in the uh, in the background. It says commemorating the 50th anniversary of her arrival at Crazy Horse. This portrait was presented to Ruth by her family in June of 1997. So I guess this is the sculptor of Crazy Horse. Yep. Here is a sculpture that um, Korzak Zilokowski, that's his name, was the sculptor. Here's uh, one that he made of Wild Bill Hickok. These are portraits of him. They're beautiful portraits. Here's a one to 300 scale model. Wow. Also bent in at Crazy Horse's arm up to the elbow. We have to pay attention to the width of the top of the arm so when we get our tools out there, our outputs in there, we have space to sit down so we can pick up the arm. Welcome to the Mount Carving Gallery. I think that actually there are several castings of this monument um, because it kept changing. Like they would find a piece of rock that they couldn't form the way they wanted to, so they had to change the sculpture, and so there are actual, actually several castings of it somewhere. This is it in 2018. That's pretty much what it looks like right now. Yeah. When did the project start? Look at how beautiful this pottery is by Navajo artists. Oh, that is pretty. Heroic stance, it's called. Look at this beautiful jewelry. I just bought one of these necklaces. They're so pretty. He says his grandmother makes these, right? Yes. They're gorgeous. Thank you. So after our, our 
poor a crazy horse, we stopped at this great little Italian restaurant in Hill City. We have a charcuterie, char charcuterie board, a couple of um, Italian draft beers, and we're waiting on our small pizza and salad that we're going to devour in just a second. pretty everywhere, but just look how gorgeous this is. You can see the granite in the rocks. It's very shiny. Like little specks of glass all through it. It's very pretty. Mount Rushmore. So here we are. We finally made it to Mount Rushmore. Look at that. It's quite spectacular. This. So there's a lot of steps here. It's this path to get to the base of the monument. They call it strenuous. <laughs> there is a lot of steps. Hey okay, baby. Let's we almost to the top. Yeah, great show. Here are the majestic figures of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln, surrounded by the beauty of the Black Hills. Why these four presidents? Well, it was believed at the time that these four represented the most important events in the history of the United States. George Washington was the first president of the United States. He died in 1799. Washington led the colonists in the American Revolutionary War to win independence from Great Britain. He was the father of the new country and laid the foundation of American democracy. Washington is the most prominent figure on the mountain and represents the birth of the United States. Thomas Jefferson, the third president, died in 1826. Jefferson was the primary author of the Declaration of Independence, a document which inspires democracies around the world. He also purchased the Louisiana Territory from France in 1803, which almost doubled the size of our country. Jefferson represents the growth of the United States. Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president, died in 1919. Roosevelt provided leadership when America experienced rapid economic growth as it entered the 20th century. He worked to enlarge corporate monopolies and ensure the rights of the common working man. Roosevelt represents the development of the United States. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president, died in 1865. Lincoln held the nation together during its greatest trial, the Civil War. 
Lincoln believed his most sacred duty was the preservation of the Union. Lincoln represents the preservation of the United States. So as you're leaving Mount Rushmore, you take this particular road and you can get the profile view of Washington. Look at that. Pretty awesome. Yeah, there's Mount Rushmore. Okay. So here's the view of Mount Rushmore through a tunnel on Iron Mountain Road. Isn't that spectacular? This is the C.C. Giddens Tunnel. <gasps> oh, there's Mount Rushmore again. Yep. This is the Scoville Johnson Tunnel. So this is Iron Creek Tunnel. Look at that. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at that. This place is amazing. What do you think, Lily? You think it's pretty amazing too? Uh, what do you think, Lily? like it? Yeah. So this is along Needles Highway, and let me tell you, the views are just spectacular everywhere. What a beautiful drive. Okay, here is 
the famous Needle's Eye Tunnel. Check this out. Oh my God. So I'm walking through this tunnel, right? This is awesome. So this is the hood tunnel. So this is Legion Lake, and we're at Legion Lake Lodge. Black Hills National Forest. It is magical here. We just finished the Needles Highway and we just left Custer State Park. So we are, of course, back into the Black Hills National Forest. You come in and out of the Black Hills Forest, you know, you uh, because, because Custer State Park is like right in the middle of it. These are these, uh, they're called pigtails, right? So, look at this. There's just, and there's a series of them. This is a pigtail. It's Tuesday, May 25th. And we packed up from Custer State Park and we moved into the Black Hills. This is a national park. It's called Sheridan Lake Campground. And it does not suck here. I'll tell you that. This is a beautiful campground. Um, there's hardly anybody here. I can't believe it. It's really nice. Uh, the only downside to this park is there's no electricity. There are no showers and the only toilets they have are vault toilets. It's like, thank God for our little self-contained uh, porta potty that I don't have to use that vault toilet because it's pretty disgusting. But um, this, look at this site.
it's pretty. Sheridan Lake Campground. This water looks pretty clear. You can see the rocks in the bottom of it. It's a pretty steep bank though. Since there's no showers, Fred commented that he needs to jump in this lake and wash off. There's our camper. It's a pretty steep bank. But you could get down to it right through there. This is a spectacular view. That's the Black Hills in the background. For dinner tonight, we have this tuna noodle casserole by Sheridan Lake. I've made this several times. Fred loves it. It's pretty good. How is it, sweetheart? Delicious. Very delicious. <laughs> 